Uh, we're learning more about the shooter, Muhammad Abdul Aziz, as the investigation continues into that shooting rampage. That's right. That's one of the things we continue to look for as new details emerge. News Channel 9's Stephanie Santastasi joins us now from the studio with what we've learned today. Stephanie. Joshua and Latricia knew today we found out from a lawyer that the uncle of Abdulaziz has been in custody in Jordan since Friday. According to ABC News, Abdulaziz had spent several months in Jordan last year and his relatives in Jordan were being questioned as part of this investigation. As the investigation into Mohammed Abdulaziz continues, we're beginning to learn more information on motives and what led up to the day of the shooting. According to ABC News, FBI agents found evidence that Abdulaziz was following a radical American member of Al Qaeda online in 2013. And a representative of Abdulaziz's family says there were pages of writing that showed the young man was suicidal and looking for a way to absolve what he considered were his sins. We're also learning Jordanian authorities have been questioning relatives of Abdulaziz as part of an investigation into the time he spent in the country last year. A person close to Abdulaziz's family told the AP that the accused shooter spent several months in Jordan last year under a mutual agreement with his parents to help him get away from drugs, alcohol, and a group of friends whom his relatives considered a bad influence. And then last night, this apartment at the Mountain Creek apartment complex was searched by FBI agents. The FBI reportedly questioned a friend of Abdulaziz, who is believed to have gone joyriding with him in a rented convertible two days before the deadly shooting. We, we go around and we talk to everybody who we possibly can who may know or have been associated with the shooter. Today, we stopped by to see if investigators were still there. We knocked on the door of the apartment that was searched and no one answered. Today we also learned, and this is according to the Washington Post, that the FBI recovered a pistol that may have been privately owned and used by one of the Marines killed on Thursday. The Washington Post goes on to write that investigators are trying to determine, based on forensics, whether the pistol was used in an exchange with Abdulaziz and possibly wounded him. This is the only reliable source we've found with that information. We'll update you as we learn more. Josh and Latricia, back to you. Stephanie.